This is going to be another unprofessional review of my Mesa, this time of my Mesa Rectiverb 25 combo. Now, this is a high quality boutique level amp, and uh, it gets very loud. I actually have this for sale, not because it sounds bad, but because even at 10 watts, it's not really a bedroom amp unless you get the tube screamer out. You can play it at low volumes on vintage and modern with the tube screamer, and it'll sound okay. <laughs> but to really, excuse me, but to really get a good sound out of this thing, you need to crank the volume up, and you don't have to blast it. I'll tell you what, you just turn this up a little bit, and it's loud. It, it gets loud quick. So 25 just like blows the doors off. <laughs> 25 watts. But yeah, I need some bedroom uh, level volumes but if you this thing I'm, I'm sure you can gig with this thing because it's loud it's loud as hell yeah you could definitely gig with it i never gigged before in my life but i can't i can't imagine how you couldn't and like you know some small club and stuff or something like that or a local show or some shit but uh yeah um you know i got uh I run, I'm running the noise gate with this right now, the Fortinzool noise gate. I've got the Ibanez screamer. Here, let me shut the screamer off. I don't, I don't, I'm not using this right now. But let's start with uh, a very unprofessional review. Let's start with um, the channel selector. A standby switch, power, um, on and off. So you, you got you got four channels technically. You got modern and vintage, which I just don't understand. Because they should have just made it one thing. I, I don't know enough about Mesa to, to really uh, to really criticize too much. But they both sound good. You just have, uh, modern sounds significantly louder than vintage. They're both very similar to each other. And then you get clean and push. And, and clean, their clean channel on this is really good. Um, it's really good. Uh, but here, let's start with clean. What do you think? I got the presence up all the way you really this is the only way you can play this amp i personally think maybe it's because i play it at low volumes is you got to put the presence up all the way on both channels i put the bass at 12 the mids at 12 and the treble up all the way and the gain on the clean at about halfway now my gain on the dirty channel is at about three o'clock but here's here's the clean channel i'm gonna drop the e Too. Let's try the reverb out. Here, I'm gonna keep the reverb on push. Like a, I guess that's a hall reverb, if I'm not wrong. That's all. Now let's turn it back on clean. And hear what it sounds like with the. gets any better than that. That's beautiful, man. Alright. There's your reverb. It's gonna be longer than I thought. 
office review. There's a lot of knobs in this. Uh, okay, let's go to the monster now. We're gonna go to vintage. How about vintage first? No tube screamer. But I got the noise gate on. Sporting's old noise gate. <laughs> bedroom volume you can play it at bedroom volume i guess um but it sounds even better if it's cranked let's click on modern is that much louder that gets get the uh, mark five I might start turning to two two heads instead of combos that's part of the reason I'm selling this too I mean it sounds it's an awesome amp I was just thinking about getting maybe a 1 by 12 or 2 by 12 uh, cabinet and running heads into it okay what do you guys think about listening to the um, tube screamer <laughs> American sounding. Modern time. I'll try the uh, reverb. Here's some. Yeah. It's a good amp, man.